Welcome to myprojectbazaar.com The project title is Multidirectional Tracking of Directional Tracking of Athletes Using MATLAB The project abstract is This document proposes the creation of a MATLAB script to find, track and analyze the movement of athletes on their given playing surface with the intent of providing more precise information to coaches and players. It in this it it includes six components. First one is background and mo motivation, and second one is research goal and objective, and third one is research design and methods, and fourth one is staffing plan, and fifth one is timeline, and sixth one is reference. The project flow diagram is to find the athlete activities to track the our system. So initially, we are going to collect the data sets. So in the data set our athletes oriented so it is based on our players so according to the data set we have to choose one data set according to choose one video so in this video our input video so according to the video first we have to read this video after reading our input video we have to convert the frame so why we are going to frame conversion means because each and every step to watch the player so that purpose only we are going to convert it into frames and then according to that frame we are going to find the details about our frame after frame conversion we are going to resize the video so in that video uh, here I am using 256 cross 256 it is 256 cross 256 means our rows and column values after resizing our video we are going to filtering so why we are going to filtering now now some external noise will be added so that purpose only we are going to filter that video so the removal of noise will be shown on the command end also after filtering process we are going to subtract the background so why we are going to background subtraction means the object will be exactly direct to moment of each and every moments so that purpose only we are going to using background subtraction in the background subtraction we are using the DCT in DCT means discrete cosine transform so it is going to easily identify the object of moments so finally we are going to track that video so in that video the players moments will be tracked so in, the, in this tracking we are going to plot the bounding box after track the video we are going to extract the features and after the feature extraction we are going to analysis the activity it, it may be a uh, running or standing like that process we are going to analyze so finally we are going to classify the results for, for accuracy sensitivity and specificity the project source code was run from the command window in current folder shows some folders and files so according to that files we are going to run the main file.m our data sets are stored in the data sets so we are going to give the three different type of videos so in that videos we are going to analyze other activities so in main file we are going to run after run our process we are going to data set so in the data set we are choosing one so the process will be going so it is the input frame so the enter the value means our resizing the original video with different size first one is original size and 500 cross 500 300 cross 300 256 cross 250 it is the resizing the frames and video size so I will give the number as 4 it is basically 256 cross 256 the resized frames also converted into 256 cross 256 next we are going to apply the filter in that filter we are using the Gaussian filter so I will just give us one so it is the enter the value so it is means it means the size of the video 
So 3 means represented as 300 cross 300 and 5 means represented as 500 cross 500. So when I give the 3, so the process will be 300 cross 300 will be process. So it is the size of the video will be shown on 3. So it is the DCT frames. So the maximum speed was achieved. So how many how much speed will be occur in the object? So the process was completed. So now we discuss the each figures. So in figure one shows the initial frame, it is a background frame of our process. So it will be shown on our current folder, it is a background frame dot jpg in figure 1 shows the our original video so in figure 2 shows the number of frames here I am using only the 50 frames so it is the each and every frame for our object detection so it is the resizing the frame so it is the filter frames so it is the binary of our process to detect the object it is also going to converted into frames so after binary detection we are going to apply the DCT so in the DCT they exactly detect the motions of the object to in black and white so it is also going to convert it into frames so the maximum speed will be achieved to it is going to give the alert for our user so finally we are going to track the object of our process it going to how, how many frames will be converted then how much step will be for our each and every object of our process so the values will be shown on the workspace so we are going to discuss the frames and values of our process so in this process we are going to identify the speed and average step for each for each person how, how much step will be to move so time slot also will be shown on the command window then each frames will be stored on different folders binary and bsmd data set and filter frames and point resize so it is different type of frames will be stored in our folders so we have to verify when we are give the, when we are occurring the confusion so the project demo was completed thanks to watching this video